mixer. Pull back out. And we'll install this one more here. Right there. One more stand. Nice and tight. Beautiful. There we go. Firstly, let's do our CPU AIO. This is the Sapphire. I wanted to get one like this because it really matches the whole Sapphire graphics card. And I'll tell you what guys, this looks fantastic. Manual, here are your fans, take them out. Here's our mounting kit. So let's take out this bad boy. It already comes with a thermal paste, so that's awesome as well. As you can see right there. Plastic all around here to protect it. We'll worry about that after we get everything together. But first, we will install all our fans. Wow, look at these fans, guys. Absolutely fantastic. Ah, it's all labeled as well. One, two, and three. It tells you how you're supposed to plug all this together. Three would go in here, like so. This is number two. And this would be number one. Perfect. So, we would have this front mounted. I think that works. So this is how it's going to look, like this, and the other would come around like that. So let's take off this piece so we can get mounting. Four screws. Just lift it and then you pull out because you've got these here that slide in. So make sure you lift and then you pull out. Get the right angle so you're not bending these. It's going to sit this way. We know our cables have to come out this way because this is going to be front mounted. Hold these in place. Then we can. Nice and snug. Don't go for gold and tighten these to the point where you can't take them off. You want them on snug. Nice and light, just a bit snug. Believe it. Me knows and my voice might sound a little bit whacked, but uh, we're gonna get through this guys. Tighten out all these screws. Just put this aside for a second and we will install this one first. Here is where we remove all the plastic protection. Take that off, pull this off, pull this off. Slide it on in, just make sure it doesn't scratch anything. Grab our mounting screws. That's one in. Do another one top so it holds it up evenly upright. You want to make sure that every single mounting hole can be used to mount it. Washer and then screw. We'll now do the other side. We'll put one in quickly so it helps to hold it up. Push it up and then screw it in. 12 screws all done, cover back on. We're gonna tuck it all under here and then tuck it over through here. That way we hide all the cables. AM4 mount, we need to remove this. So firstly, undo these four screws. Four, lift, remove. Remove all the screws. Your original plate, which is this here, you push it up through the bottom and then you screw these screws into them. And that's going to help hold it in place as you mount your AIO pump, right? One here. Grab this here, take this off. Ensure this is right way up and install it. You grab your four mounting screws, these four here, grab them and then just screw down and you are done. And that's how you mount the AM4 mount. And then we'll straighten up. So these are the cables that are coming off the AIO now. See this little gap we have here? That's where we're gonna run the cable. Tuck it in, can't even see the cable now. Now to keep it together, we'll put a zip tie through it. And then we'll cut this uh, extra off. Here we go. 3.5 inch drive, 2.5 inch drive. This is how we install the 2.5 inch SSD. 
we want our cables facing down like so and you want to install it on the side that protrudes so that way it's got a little bit of air to breathe and it will cool a little bit heat can dissipate i've used these for a while now and uh, i haven't had any complaints and they work very well this is the brand here this is a whole two terabyte awesome three year warranty now as for our 3.5 inch drive now these brackets here you can install an SSD as well as a 3.5 inch drive. So the rubber comes in through the bigger hole like so, and then it slides into the little gap where your screws are gonna line up. All the screw holes line up. And then just grab your screw, put all four in, and you're good. There we go, and that's how you install it. There's two slots here. That's what these go into, right here. And then screw it down. That's in. Okay, you also have these two tabs here. It slides in, these two slide it down. There is the screw that screws into it. So as you can see, you can install one, two, three, four, five, 2.5 inch SSDs and three 3.5 inch hard drives. You can even install two more 2.5 inch drives at the front. You can choose to relocate these to the front if you wanted to. Let's push all our cables where they need to go. We got power reset, power LED, right under here. Push them through here, and we'll worry about the slack in just a second. For our USB 3.0. See where our USB 3.2 port is. So it needs to come through here. That should work. And it's good it has all these slots in between here because it really helps to hide the cable. We have our USB 3.1, so we need to go in the same spot right here. So that will go there as well. Hide the cable like so. That looks good. Audio, I presume, down here. And here we just have the rest of the front panel cables and I'll just tuck them in we'll here. We'll leave that hard drive out for now in case we need to run any more cables. Let's plug in all the cables Yeah. Plug in our HD audio. We have here power LED, HDD LED. Now for our power switch and reset. See all this extra slack? Push it on through. As you can see, all the cables are neatly tucked in. Okay, this is the CPU fan. It's this one here at the bottom. This is SATA. We have motherboard sink. This can plug into here. There we go. And this plugs into the long cable that came off here. This is an extension, so another 5 volt free thing can plug into this. And tuck it all underneath here. That's fine. That looks like it will work. And as for this, we can just get it through here. We haven't really got much cable to work with there. Plug this in here. For the graphics card, we are using the Sapphire Toxic. Look at that. One hell of a graphics card. They even come with its own little toolkit. Look at this. That's pretty cool. All right, so let's uh, take this out. Look at this graphics card, man. Just amazing. When I saw this, I absolutely fell in love. Just remove all the plastic protection. Two eight pin, one six pin. Now we have protective sticker on here. Remember our mounting plate. So we need to install it like this. Drop it in from the top, like so. We need to line up these first. They sit in the slots here. One, two, three. Just push it down. Now it's just a matter of screwing it down. Two. There were four screws along the top. One, two, three, four. We need to install the rest of these screws that hold this AIO in place, so we've got one, two, 
all done. The problem before was even when I had this in, this wasn't sitting right. So I just had to push that down. Now we are in flush. Up, slide it out. And we'll install the power source first. And then we'll install this graphics card last. MSI's MPG A1000G. This is an awesome power supply. And we will now choose the cables that we are only going to use. Sealed bag. Right. SATA. SATA. PCIe 1, PCIe 2. Nice detail. Let's uh, plug all this in and install our power supply. Now that's ready, we're going to face the fan down as always. There's these two screws here at the back. Let's undo them. This plate comes off here, right? Mount it on like this and then push it on in. We've just tightened all that. Do this gap here at the back here. Slide in all your cables from the top. Drop them all in. Just like that. Drop it all in. And then that will just slide on in. And these two screws will then screw in and hold the power source in place like so. Power source installed now. Tidy up the cables a little. So we have our CPU here, ATX here. There's all our GPU cables. So we'll just leave that there. And of course our SATA. So around this way and that's it look at that look how easy that was because we're going to use these uh, black and gray sleeve cables install all the cones so I'll do it first really easy to install figure out which way you want to install it okay go to the right to the end where this is here line it up pushing the first cable in like so see how you're just getting just the first cable in then you follow through with the next just behind it like so and once that's in pull it down to where you want it rinse and repeat Now that I've got all the cables pretty much sorted, now we can install the top AIO. So we'll install our top AIO now for our GPU and we'll get everything ready. PCI 4.0 is definitely faster than PCIe 3.0. It's almost double actually. I'll leave the stats up for you right now. All right guys, so after all the trouble of trying to use one of these vertical mounts, there really wasn't any point. All I'm going to do now is use the vertical slots designed for it and then use these sponge pads to sit underneath the graphics card to hold it up nice and firm now obviously it does depend on how many uh, slots your gpu takes my gpu only takes two slots so that's why i can use a two slotted one we're just going to use the two vertical slots here and all we do now is simply plug this in all right we already have it plugged in the uh, time 16 slot plug it in just like that and then that's it that's how we're going to install it just like that and you see this little gap just under here we're going to fix that just using one of these rubber mounts just tuck it underneath like so it will give it support we've got it installed now and it is actually pretty solid look at this it sits very well that little sponge there has just helped it from 
bouncing around. So we'll grab our other sponge. I'm gonna move this over here, like so. And that looks really good. Now to tighten down these screws. And we need a six pin here. This will be our six pin one. So we need to pull this back a little bit. If you only need a six pin, you don't have to leave it there and then bend it down. You can pull this one all the way back and only push through six. Okay, now we've got the graphics card cables through. Let's just give it a test fit. Because we're only using six pins, doesn't look as appealing. Plug it in now and let's just see how it looks. Any fans plugged into the fan hub will be controlled via the system fan that I plugged this into. Here's one, we'll plug it in. Two, there we go. And that will plug in like that, right here. We are pretty much done. I've just quickly tested everything and everything works. I'm going to install this piece here. And that goes on the, which is uh, straight down here. I'm installing these two here. Next one on the side. I want to install one more fan at the back. One more 140 mil exhaust ARGB fan. so we'll put it a bit higher that's done put it in drop it on make sure he's even along here there we go that's it let's plug in our uh, fan cables okay our rear fan plugged into our extension 5 volt free pin that came off the AIO pump Try the back cover. Nice. Our antennas. Screw them on in. And that's it. Slides all the way in. 
voila. Slides on in like that, as you can see here. This is the end product of how it all looks. There is no tension on any of the hoses. Nothing is touching. It's not touching the fan here at the back at all. All the fans are able to spin freely. GPU is very well fitted. This is the complete build. That really does conclude the build. how clean it looks no cables hanging out everything looks really really good the graphic card covers most of it a very clean build we just have these two foam pads with adhesive at the bottom and it sits on a PCIe 4.0 cleaned up all the loose cables Concludes our build. Batch me up, dog.
Let's make our way back up. man or tallest tree begins as any more than me. Yeah, it's Steve. Stupid man.
You didn't care if she was. Mind your tongue, boy! Until our journey is over, one of us must remain focused. Do not mistake my silence for lack of grief. Mourn how you wish. Leave me to my own. I'm sorry. I didn't realize. No. Why would you? You do not know my ways. I know it has not been easy. 